Not quite as bad. I can't see any more as long as you're old. Well. So. There's room in my backpack. The truck needs a gun. So nobody's accessible because the bears are out. Well, it's a super potent hot, hot pepper that uh, kind of forces the bear to not be able to breathe and hopefully averts a full on attack. Pull back the little safety and hopefully you don't have to sit like this, you know, and then that and then just push it down and all of us will not be able to breathe. All right, you see that snow covered mountain up there? I think that's where we're headed. We got up nice and early this morning, got packed up. We're about to go on a 12 mile trip. That'll be round trip. It's six miles up, six miles back. Should be a blast. We're gonna see a nice lake, hopefully some wildlife. We have plenty of snacks and food with us, so we're just gonna go and enjoy the ride. On that snow covered mountain. grid here. Thank goodness we found this sign pointing in the right direction. Oh man. There's no trail. Lucky. Out in the wilderness. No way of knowing where it's where to go. We haven't been hiking in a while. It's really good to be on the trail again and get some fresh air. Scenery is just beautiful. Mountains all around us. Such a nice change from the flat Florida country. We're picking raspberries as we go and just keeping an eye out for wildlife. Here in the Mission Mountains. Man. Pretty incredible. Gorgeous. Can't believe this. Uh, I'm used to seeing stuff like this on TV, so it's pretty cool to be here in person. Definitely worth it. Mm. The Lord away. really hooked us up with some just perfect weather. Wow. You guys, I mean, <laughs> other day in the bayou, right? That's right. <laughs> up in these mountains, there's little lakes like this just dotting the landscape everywhere. So we're going to a different lake that's a little bit farther up. It's called um, Turquoise Lake. Wow, the name just sounds gorgeous. I can't wait to see it with my eyes. Man, this place is epic. Man, it is sweet being up here in the mountains again. We haven't gone hiking in a really long time, so the body's a little bit out of shape for it, but thankfully the know-how is all still there. Um, I am trying out these hiking sticks. This is pretty cool. I've never done this before. Kind of gives you some extra steam going uphill. I'm keeping my eye out for mountain lions or grizzly bears. Supposedly this is like prime uh, terrain for them. They could be just around any corner. I better stick with the group. They're the ones with the guns and bear spray. Yeah, there's all sorts of wildlife up here. Badgers and wolverines, wolves and lynx, and all the bobcats, mountain lions. Oh, thankfully there's no poisonous snakes. Right there, on the rock. Wow, that's awesome. It's a... Uh, No, um... This is weird, it's like a little rat. I think it starts with like a C. There he is. Does it have any predators? Oh yeah. Coyotes, bobcats. Wow. Poor guy. No wonder he's kind of scared. It's almost like a chinchilla. He's still there? Oh, you scared him off of something. Oh, we're high enough now that there's actually snow in the shadows. It's really cold when you get underneath the shadow and 
sure enough, you get down here and there's some snow. So, who needs, who needs water bottles? You, know? you just pick up a little bit like that. Mmm. Just like water. Who would have ever guessed? I figured out you can make huckleberry snow cones. First snow cone I've ever had is actually really delicious. Just kind of get the top layer off. That's you over your snow Man, beautiful. Mmm. Only on Montana, huh? Mm -hmm. Man, just loving this weather. I'm not sure if you can see, but behind me, there's like a little beautiful little chipmunk just sitting on this rock. He's like totally tame. He doesn't even mind me standing next to him. But this, this terrain is just unbelievable. Oh yeah. Whoa. 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 <laughs> turquoise lake. Small turquoise lake with that water. Yeah. Yo, Asher, where are you going? All right, so there's a nice patch of snow up there, up on the mountain. Um, we're gonna go try to see if we can head up and make that. I'll take the GoPro with me so you guys can see what's going on. Don't trust anything. The higher up we go, the bigger they get. We're heading up to those mountains right there. Oh man, it's crazy up here in Montana. The distance looks a lot closer than it actually is. All right, so right up there is our destination, and maybe we'll go up this way and see some more snow. GoPro's got plenty of battery. All these rocks just fell down, so they're super loose. Man, you gotta be careful and watch where you're going. Seeing all these rock layers around here, it's pretty awesome. It's just tons and tons of little pieces of evidence of the flood as it went through. You know, it's a crazy thing. Being homeschooled, we did the experiment where, you know, put all the dirt in a jar and mix it up and it forms little layers. And so, we see here in the States, it's like a humongous example of that. Where, no matter where you go in the States, there we see the same layer, layers in the same spot. So when the flood came through, mixed everything up on a huge, large scale and laid them all down. So it's hard to... Um, I understand if you come across with a worldview that those layers took millions of years to form because they'd be different in all different places you're at. But with the flood, it all makes sense. It's pretty cool. There it is. Whoa. Whoa. Is that cool or what? What? Look at that. There's, there's like these patterns inside. What? I can't believe when I walked up. I guess this part's not put off and that one's still. Oh, it's like, hold on. No way. <sighs> wow. Who knows how old this oh, is? Oh, I guess we got some deer tracks. That's incredible. Oh, I can't go. believe that. Yeah. How'd that happen? Is it just slowly melts away? Yeah. Right here? Used to be connected, I bet. Yeah, it's unbelievable. I can't believe this. Yeah, look at that. Whoa, it's a big fissure. Beautiful, man. Yeah. Is that a hole? Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. That's fine. Super epic. Ooh. Let's see where we're at. Wow. You what? Epic explorer climbing oh. Mount Everest. Need the oxygen yet, Asher? No. Yep. Oh. <laughs> we got a Sherpa over here. Oh man. Going down. Going down. Ah. Oh man. <laughs> Oh, my hands though. 
Wow. Oh, Do you I feel can't like feel Rocky them. when you climb the mountain? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> We're starting to get kind of thirsty. Oh. That's snow. Um, it is water, but I don't know, I'm not sure. It doesn't really quench the thirst. It kind of makes your mouth all dry. So um, there's this sweet little spring coming straight out of the mountain here. We're gonna grab a drink of water real quick. It's some of the best water I've ever had, I think. The bear's after us, it's stalking us. The bear was the, no. uh, was that wood right down there. Yep. He just shredded that apart. Seriously. Doug and he's got big old piles, piles of. What was he? Cat. What was he eating in the tree? Man. Worm. Worm. Eating, yeah, little worms. Worm. Little grubs and. Wow. So it was fresh. That means he's like a mile away, within a mile. Well, he used to be anywhere up here. Man, that'd be awesome if you see a bear. He was chasing us, man. Not so awesome though. All right, we made it back to the edge of the river. Wow, that was a super fun little trip out into no man's land. Man, that was fun. Thanks for watching The Wild Way, and double thanks if you've already liked or subscribed to our YouTube channel. If you want to get more involved with us, visit our Patreon website. Hit the link below to learn how you can become a member of our Patreon team and partner with us. Also, you'll get awesome benefits, like exclusive vlog videos, like Wild Brothers merchandise, and a lot more.